I'll be frank with you. I'm not a funny person. I have tried and it just, it doesn't flow well. It doesn't come off naturally. So for my own curiosity, how can I be funny when I am not funny? <laughs> you don't have to go up there and and be Chris Rock or, or Seinfeld or, or someone. It, you have to go up there and be funny for Francesca or for, for whoever you are. So it is all relative. And if you're someone who isn't known for being funny and you're in a situation where there's an, an expectation of at least a few laughs, you're kind of in a good situation because in a good way, the bar is low a little <laughs> bit, well, no, a little, a little bit will go a really long way. I, I, and I describe humor as it's seasoning. And something, you know, if you think of it as salt and you sprinkle a little bit on it, it makes everything better. So even chocolate or caramel or something like that, you put a little bit of sea salt on it and you mm. go, oh, my, that's like seven grains. And you go, this is the best thing ever. It doesn't take much. But then there are people who where if I went to go give a speech or a, there would be an expectation of you better bring it like you better. This better be salty movie popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. But. But it is, it's just all relative. It, so when people say I'm not funny, you don't have to be. You just have to kind of open yourself up to a 22-year-old cat that shouted at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm being heckled. <laughs> um, in your own home. <laughs> in, in my own home. Oh, the bouncer's my. doing nothing about it. Um, <laughs> he's been overserved to be fair um yeah. so uh, yeah so you don't have to be hilarious a little bit really does go a long way because also there would be nothing more painful than someone going up if you went up and you just said i'm going to read a whole joke book it, it yeah. wouldn't feel like you are there any inappropriate events or situations where probably best not to be funny the key in those situations is is to really pick your moments because even eulogies you would think oh this is very sad this is terrible but comedy breaks tension and sometimes True. that can be useful and needed and welcome at the right moment i think that humor is a soft skill it's definitely a soft skill that i need work on and what does being funny and have to do with soft skills how does it help with networking or even just making friends if you can make someone laugh or smile. It's it's just it's instant connection because in that moment you're you you have this common experience. You have this common experience of oh we see the world the same way. Or or you're being vulnerable to someone. You're it's because a lot of humor is self awareness. You sort of oh gosh look look at what I've done to myself. You know um, it, it's self awareness, but that's you opening up and being vulnerable uh, or admitting vulnerability in front of other people. And I think that's attractive in a person. I'm the person at the networking event that inevitably spills something on herself <laughs> <laughs> or gets there late or ends up forgetting an umbrella and walks in looking like a drowned rat. And oh. you can walk around being super self-conscious about it mm -hmm. or you can just walk in, make eye contact with someone and say with a smile on your face, yeah, and the uh, Apparently didn't think it was going to rain. I mean, even just something small like that. Yeah. Now that person has a sense of you. You have a sense of humor about yourself. You don't take yourself too seriously. You're willing to be honest and you're willing to admit flaws. To me, that's a very endearing and attractive thing in a person. True. To me, it actually exudes a little bit of confidence as well. That bit of humor. It's almost like, hey, I didn't think it was going to rain. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, to me, it comes off confident. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's, I guess there's a little bit of, of confidence to it. Yeah, I think that there's a little bit of confidence, to, but it, it, yeah, it's confidence in yourself. It's sort of, I am who I am and I, I can't change it. This is who I am. <laughs> I have accepted it. <laughs> You uh, could do worse. You <laughs> could do worse. Uh, you could do worse. I, you, know, you could do better, but <laughs> you could do worse. This might be a ridiculous question, but a favorite joke or I don't know, was there a script that you worked on way back in the day that you thought to yourself, oh, man, that is hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if people say that to themselves, but hey, I figured I'd ask. Not comedy writers. No, no, no. OK. <laughs> um, well, no, I, there are things I've worked on that that I I was I, I'm proud of. Mm. And there it's there are people that it was very fun to write things for because they could just deliver something. I mean, 
you know, I, I, I wrote for Ellen for three years. I've worked on the Academy Awards and gotten to write presenter copy for Tom Hanks and That's Helen Mirren cool. and things like that. I mean, just um, we wrote a thing for the Screen Actor. Uh, my writing partner and I wrote the Screen Actors Guild Awards. We've done that for a few years and we wrote something for Eugene and Dan Levy. And, what? and it was fun to write something in their voice because that's kind of what we get paid to do is to write something in their voice and then watch Eugene Levy and Dan Levy breathe life into it in a way where it was just so far beyond our wildest expectations. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your insights. It was a pleasure. My pleasure entirely.